Our Father and our God, we want to thank you and to bless you for the joy of being here. The joy that only comes from you. Father, Lord God Almighty, we are the people who joy and rejoice in you. Always. We rejoice in you despite anything and everything because your joy no one can take it away from us. It's a joy that is eternal. It's one that is full of glory. And so we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for another session of what we call practical Christianity. This is a session, Lord God Almighty, that we commit to you. That you will help us to grow, not only in the knowledge of you, but in the practicalities of living the way you want us to live. Because your word confirms that your ways are not our ways. But it is our desire, O oh God, that you will make your way to become our way. And you will make your thoughts, O oh God, to become our thoughts. Thank you, Father Lord God Almighty, because you always haunt us in dreams. Thank you, Father Lord God Almighty, because you are the God that watches over us. You never leave us alone. You never forsake. Blessed God, we thank you because every time we know you are just a word away, you are just a thought away, you are nearer to us than we are to ourselves. And so, Lord God Almighty, in that confidence, we have this session today. We say, Father, let all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration, as ever, be to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Thank God for those of us that are here. Uh, let me start with my sister Abigail. Who knows she says she's on the road? Sister Abigail, what changes would you like to make? What changes would you like to make in your life? And why? It looks like you are in the bus or something. Yeah, go on. No, no, I'm just on a busy, busy road. Okay. Let me try and get somewhere. Like, yeah, go on, go on, go on, John. We can hear you. Okay. Yeah. I would like to change some of the decisions I made. I would like to change some of the decisions I made. What decisions are these? Uh -huh. we're, not, we're, looking, we're not looking to the past. My question is not about the past. What changes oh, okay. would you like to make in your life at the moment? Right now, at the moment. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Oh, for one thing, I would want to be more involved in ministry. Okay, in what way? In, in, in the music is ministry and ministering to the people through music. I would what, is, what, to... what is preventing you from doing that? <laughs> I have two mouths to feed. I have my children. I mean, I'm doing it, but I'm not doing it as much as I would want to. I would, all, I, I would honestly want to do it full scale, full time. It is such a desire in my heart. Okay. Because I believe that it's a, it's a ministry God has given to me. And I believe there are certain things that God has promised that I would see through that ministry. And I have not seen yet. Okay. What else? That's one. I would want to change the state of my daughter's life. Any, I want that to change. To I sing. want that to be made to, to change. I would want that to change. To be able okay. to her, to be able to talk, to be of a sound, perfectly sound mind. And I would just want to know God better and see Him as He is seeing me. And talk to him as he hears me talk. 
This is my alternate desire. Is that it? That's it. Definitely, okay. I would want to uh, live a more comfortable life. But this is this is my top priority because if I knew God the way He knew, I don't think I'd experience anything called life. Okay. What about my brother? Um, go to. Yes. Uh, I, I won't go to. I won't go to give me more. My maybe in my area of decision taking, God should just help me because uh, I think that I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm being a little bit far from Him. I don't know. Maybe because of uh, the work I do. Every time on the road, I want God to make it more easier for me so I can really have a. What is the, what is the problem with being on the road? Uh, being on the road uh, uh, means that uh, everything I do now is about me, 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 me. You know, which is uh, drive, 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 looking for money. But the time I use, I uh, most of the time I use in the presence of God as reduced different from before, you know, because I have to... Yes, but I would have end. thought that, I would have thought that driving is is a very good opportunity for being close to God. Well, I don't I'm know, always maybe, talking maybe, to God when I'm driving. But when you, have, uh, different, if, when you have different kinds of people in the car and... Uh, you don't have to be talking to them now. You can be talking to God. Why? What are your your carrying passengers? What are you having a conversation with them about? No, no, really with them. You know, there will always be the distraction somehow, something. That, what kind of distraction yeah. is that? I, I, you are driving, and in your heart you are talking to God. You know, so you are driving, I, and in your heart you are singing to the Lord. Hmm. Well, I just, I just, I need, I think I needed to maybe I needed to really work on myself like that from that uh, aspect, you know. Then I also needed God to to uh, help me in my other uh, business area that I'm looking at. I really needed God to help that I've been thinking that I'm supposed to do that I've been not been able to do. It's just hanging that would have given me more relaxing mind. You know, so I will not be too much with so many things about this world that you want to meet this, want to do that, want to do that, and just take away the one's distraction, one way or the other, from, from God's focus. Right? You know, that's just what I want God, I don't know. But does, does more income enable better worship? Or it is less income that enables better worship. I I, I think uh, I think more income. It depends on how how more income, income enables what enables enables better worship. Wonderful. You know. And, and <laughs> why is it that the, why is it that the, the rich are not spiritual? Well, it depends on, yeah, you know, when we talk about the rich itself, it depends on the rich that look themselves as the rich. There are some rich people that they, are, they don't look at themselves as rich. They, even though they are rich in Naira, but as, they, a, as a general are, premise, God is God it is the poor that are rich in faith, according to scripture. Yes, yes, you are right. But you are saying right. the opposite. You are saying that it is, it is the rich that have more time to spend with God. No, 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 not, not really that. Is that okay? If we, if we, there's, I, I think it has to do with individual. The answer one, two is that the riches itself it depends on how the love of riches. It, it depends on the person itself because if the, the 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 rich person look at it from the point that the riches are not important, God is the one. So, and if you have God most of the time. It, it is because that God that he has most of the time, that's why the riches is being kept. But if he put the riches first, you know, that's that we it's very easy to take yeah, but away. Dr. You, can't, you can't contradict the scriptures. According to the scriptures, the rich don't put God first. We can't be wiser than God. 
so the, right. the, 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 the counsel of God says that it is the poor that are rich in faith and not the rich. But you are saying that, no, you will be richer in faith if you have more resources. But the, well, is it possible for the, for even the, the poor that, uh, even though it's poor, you understand, but the, the, fact, the way it's going about being rich might also take him away from God. I don't know whether that's... Yeah, but it's a general premise. The scriptures okay. establishes yeah. a general premise. It's not, it's not, it not doesn't there. mean that you will not have the exceptions, whether you will be 100% proof. No. That's correct. That's correct. So, according to the scriptures, um, we cannot say if we have more money, we will be closer to God. That's correct. I think what I need is total reliance. God should just help me. Total reliance in oil, whatever, whatever might be. Those, that's yeah, that's but, but why are you not totally reliant now? I don't, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just I, if you have, if you know, have more income, would you be more reliant? It's not necessarily you. I don't think so. Because if, if one, sometimes one cannot really undo or cannot really... Take the right decision. We will not be re reliant. We will not. The income, even managing the income itself, is, is, is one still need God to help someone. So that would, would if one is okay for that itself, will now be another problem. Well, you know, Solomon says, you know, and I, 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 I'm, I, I'm sorry, I agree with him because it, it, it applies to me that the more money you have, the more responsibilities you have, the more people you, you are responsible for, the more people you. That's, that's you that's so it that's doesn't. That's okay, but, but, but let me let me let me ask you a second question, which I then I will then pose to to Abigail at this juncture. In this current economic climate of Nigeria, how do you enjoy life? Well, it's difficult. It's difficult. Life is very difficult. I don't know how. Where is the enjoyment? Well, the only enjoyment I can see here. And the only enjoyment I can see here is in that time of that difficult time, and God showed up. That's the only enjoyment. Okay, for instance, I was taking the children to school on, on Saturday, the so is Sunday, fine. But I later understand why God made it like that. That's how we are supposed to go that day. We are planning. In the at the time that we are planning, there are still some little little expenses that we have not. We are waiting on God to provide. Their pocket money. They are. Uh, they are, they are fee, small, some small, small fee they pay in the school, like that. So they, we are, there is no cash, so we are expecting that God will free it. So as we are waiting, waiting, that's how they were about to enter the car. Then we had, the, there's a message and say, ah, they postponed it to, to Sunday. We can't go on Saturday again. Okay, we came back. As we are coming back, that's when was feeling. So I told him, I said, don't worry. Everything, work together for good for we and Christ Jesus. You know, so as we are at home, before evening time, what we look at it, somebody just pays some money to, oh, uh, my wife's account. Ah, when I said, I told, I now called as I said, see now. I said, do you see the reason why, I told you, the, reason, the reason, look at the Pokemon that you are complaining about that we have not read. Has God not sent it now? You know? so, so something like that. So even though we are thinking, we are not happy at that time, but when God showed up, that is the only way me I can see that one enjoy the life. Let me, let me ask you a practical question before I, before I go back to the you know, how do you how do you send money to your children if you want to send money to them while they are at school do they have a bank bank account or something in fact, have, you just opened, signed, um, have you opened a not, bank account for them in fact they asked us to open a bank account now before we used to send it to one uh, to their guardian they used to have a guardian so people discover that a lot of guardians are not doing well. Either they didn't give them their money at the right time, so they asked us to open an account for them, which we are planning to do now. So that's the account we wanted to open for them. And so how will they to... operate? How will they operate that account? Will Will they have to go out of school to to the bank? No, in within the school, there is a they they, they, they already provided a, a, a special office where they will go with their card, and they don't have to have a. I know they just just a code they will have each person have a code. Just do the, put in starting the code and talk. Uh, uh, Type the amount that they want. 
the the office has a POS or something. Yes, the school has a, a, like a POS section. Uh, you know, okay. so all the children will have will have their this so I just see. So so I'm saying that in terms of this difficult time, it is when so so basically you are not enjoying life at all. I'm not too. I'm not. It's just go. <laughs> it's difficult. Too. It's difficult. Look, look at when we are going. Normally, I normally buy for twenty-five thousand. Now it's gone to forty thousand. I have to buy. Ah, everything just. I have to every day. That's a, this is the time that one need God the most. If you really want to enjoy, Google face him and know that to enjoy it, you have to face him. If you don't do that, there's no enjoyment. No, and no did enjoyment. you use up all that? Did you use up all that forty thousand? Everything. By the time I come back, it was red. It was red. Red. You know. So I'm just thanking God that. Uh, well, thank God that they are in the they are in the same school. Yeah, in fact, that, that, that's because I, when I look at other schools around, a lot of parents remove their schools from uh, from uh, private school and bring them there because the fee was too much. At least they said it's five hundred thousand upward, ah, and a lot of people cannot afford it. So the best bet is to bring them to federal government college, which they can afford, and at the same time. Other, other, because we can, they can see improvement in that place now, better than the way if uh, uh, bonding and running before, you know. So a lot of different things have been is, is going on there now that changes a lot. Of so parents will bring their children there. It's only there that you can see that your fee is two maybe two fifty for for private school. Ah, four four hundred four fifty the least upward. Not too much. Well, in the world school, if it's primary school and you're a new person, it's one million three seventy five. We don't understand first... that. That's it. That, you know, Nova school is international school, so for, for can, first time. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it, it, it's because it is international. It is, oh, because there are some things uh, in Nova school that we can't expect in public school or in government school. For instance, in 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 this their school. Government doesn't pay all the teachers. The PTA that we pay. <laughs> so why, do, why would the teachers? Why would the teachers continue teaching there? Ah, that's the problem now. Out of uh, like maybe out of like about sixty teachers they have, maybe it's only thirty. Government is paying. So the PTA that we pay, each each parent pay is the one they used to employ other teachers and pay them. You know, some employ other teachers and pay them. So. It, it makes sense for parents to come together when they see one thing that is not, they will come together. You know, if you are, when you have about uh, three, four hundred parents, and each parent pay like five, five, five or six thousand for a particular project, that would be a lot of money to do whatever project they want to do. So they always come and tax themselves to. That's the only way. Or oh, else, government, hmm. government that fails in every area. Well, yeah, we are not the people that rely on the government. Okay, all right. Uh, Miss Apadi, good good evening. Long time no see. Good evening, yeah. How is that uh, stupid dog of yours? <laughs> <laughs> leave 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 Max for me, oh. How, how is that your yeah. dog of yours? You have not you have not kicked out that dog yet. <laughs> no, he's, en he's enjoying himself. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if I if I ever come to your house, that dog will bite me immediately. He sees me, he says, This one is an enemy. <laughs> he will he, because dogs are very sensitive. They they know who likes them and who doesn't like them. So we'll yes. <laughs> yes, yes, so. Uh -huh. Papa, mm -hmm. what would you what would you like to change in your life now? Mm -hmm. In this uh, with, with this situation that we have. Mm -hmm. What changes would you like God to make in your life? And why? In my own I I I would I would, I would like to change my health, my health, 
to to be free of pains, to be able to do things. You are still going through these pains. Ah, I'm still having pains. So. Ah, okay. We will we, so, we'll pray to you again. Ah, uh, so I I get tired. You should, all, you, you should always say now. Don't don't just suffer <laughs> in silence. No, it has gotten better, but I'm still struggling with. Yeah, you should say that. We will not stop until get, it goes. I get tired very easily. Um. What yes, else? My um. What else? A blank check. You want God to give you a blank yeah. check? I say I I this question is a blank okay, check. Okay, this is this, this. okay. The question so... is a blank check. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm blank. You know, I'm, the, the, I'm... The, we are, God is here, so we are, we are, he's listening to us now. Yes, I've been planning to travel for the past three years. Okay. It's something to relocate. It's something I still want to do. All right. Um. Um. I want my prayer life to be better. I wish, but I'm struggling with it too. What? 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 What makes it? unsatisfactory to you is it that you are not praying often enough or I'm, longer enough or what yes i'm not praying i can't i i i i can't seem to pray for a long time long enough it doesn't oh. matter now the god, the god is not interested in how long your prayer is no but i still i still feel that you should i should be able to stay in his presence for I mean, without running out of what to say. And yeah, we well, are always, you are always in his presence. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That way. Anything else? Uh huh. Well, then things I I I would have loved to change my accommodation. When does your rent is like? Uh in November. In November. Uh, you want to move nearer to civilization or you want to move to a bed? Mm -mm, no, I don't want to move to a bed. I want a better <laughs> because <laughs> when it's rain, this this year, in fact, I had uh, well, you have to, you have to get out of that place. Yes, it flooded. For like three times and all of you have, that. Yeah, to get out of that place. So uh, it's not um. So those those are. How, how much is your rent now? Uh, it's um four hundred. How much? Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Are, are they increasing it? Not really. No. No. Okay. Yeah, the the, the 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 second element of, of my question, I will ask you now is, uh, how do you enjoy life now in this uh, Milokan economy? I want to, I, in that aspect, I want to thank God. I should, I'm thankful because no matter how bad it is, how expensive th things have become. I'm still able to afford what I need. Um, I'm still able to keep going on without, without any any struggle. So I so sit what, back and what, I just what 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 do you do to enjoy life? What do I do to enjoy life? If I sometimes I ask myself, what is the point of life anyway? I've, it's like I'm even questioning life in general because it's like, what's the point of all these days? It's just the same cycle and is that is that it? You so know? you are not en you are not enjoying life. Well, okay, I I I do the things I like. I, I watch TV, watch a movie, uh, eat. I like food. Yes, I enjoy my food. 
Are you a good cook? I'm a good cook to some extent, yes, I am. Why are you some extent in it? <laughs> because I can be better. I can be better. <laughs> so, we can always be better. <laughs> so, so you would say that you you would you would say that you are enjoying life in spite of the situation mm -hmm. or that you are mm -hmm. just you are you are a managing director as most Nigerians are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm a managing director because it can be better. <laughs> mm -hmm. But but I'm also I'm also thinking um that it could be it can be worse. So okay. so I know that yeah. Just thank God for that. Mm. All right. Thank God. Um, Benedict Aligwe. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, church. Before you call me, sir, me, I don't call you, sir. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are the only one here that always calls me, sir, 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 sir. You don't understand this, sir, sir, sir. I always call you. So, Benedict, exactly. how are you doing? Oh, thank God I'm fine. Okay, I have two questions that I'm that that that, 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 that I'm going around with. Uh, the first one is, what changes would you like God to make in your life today? How to how to move to the next stage of of life? You want to work? Move to the next stage of my life. You want to make use of your life? I want to move to the next stage. What is the next stage? Which stage are you now I'm in what? now? Which one is the next stage? I'm single now, but I want to move to the next stage. Okay. Don't stop talking in parables now. You are single now. You want to get married. That's different from you want to move to the next stage. That okay. So you, you want to get married. Okay. What else? And second, that I want um I want to be rich. You want to be rich? Yes. Okay. How rich? Or rich? Rich, multi-millionaire rich. Yes. Okay. What else? And, uh, Even though you, the script, you know that the scripture says that we should not desire to be rich, but anyway, you say you want to be rich. <laughs> but I, I'm just listening to you. I I just want God to be just to not judge me according to my ways. To just be merciful to me because. No, 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 we're not talking uh, about. I say, what changes would you want him to make? But don't don't change the question to another one. I'm asking uh, you of the changes uh, you want God to make. Um, and I also planning that I want God to also give me accommodation in uh, my own house. Okay, you want to own uh, your own house? Yes. Like, like restos, like like uh, like Lord Okay. Yeah. All right. Now the, the second question is. Uh, in this uh, uh, local economy now, are you enjoying life? Uh, in my own space, uh, I would say I thank God. It is, uh, what, is your own, what, has your, what has your own space got to do with it? Yeah, I have to do with it because I don't want to use I don't want to look at the local issue because it, God is one packaging me, doctor. He's not a miracle. That's packaging me. Okay, as okay. long God and, is, and, God and, is. I Just answer the question directly. Always go all over the shop. Huh? Are you enjoying life? Yes or no? If yes, tell me how. If no, you tell me why. I would, I would say I'm enjoying life now. At least. You won't say you are enjoying yes. life. You are not I enjoying it. Yes, 
you say you are enjoying life. Are you are, huh? I'm enjoying life now. I'm enjoying. Okay, what are you enjoying in life? <laughs> okay, you good dear. At least I, um, I can provide whatever I want for now. Even though, at the least that, that I want, God is making it available. I can buy clothes. Then I bought some shirts for myself. Okay, um, you bought, you bought the shirt. Are you are you wearing it now? No, I want to wear it. <laughs> well, you want to I, wear it on a special occasion? No, did, I don't wear clothes. Why did, why did you buy the shirt? Did you go out to well, buy I want, a shirt? I want, I want to change the I want to change the look of my wardrobe by little now. Okay, okay. It was last right. I bought for myself last. So, in spite of the, the the high prices, you want to change your wardrobe. Yes, I got this. And then I you have yeah, started yes, with the new shirts. Yes, okay. And the, uh, last, are you, oh, you, are you gonna are you gonna put the time with that shirt? No, it's just uh, this round neck and uh, V neck now. Okay. And which trouser are you going to wear with it? You have to buy a trouser. I have me. no. I have to buy a trouser. I'm not. I don't want. I'm. I'm not cutting that one. Okay. All right. That's so you are you are able to get you you are enjoying life because you are able to get the things that you want. Uh, our strength have been sorted out. You can afford the things you want. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not asking you what you want now. I'm saying that. Are you enjoying life? You say you are. I say you. <laughs> enjoying <laughs> life is different from what you want. And what what are you enjoying now? I'm, I always I have to bring you to the question. Bring you to the question. Bring you to the question because you always go off. Um, in life, enjoying life now. I don't. I don't know. I can't say. I can't call it enjoyment. But I just say I. Are you enjoying? First of all, you say you're enjoying life. Now you are saying something else now. I know because. Uh, are you enjoying life or I'm are you not? Why can't you? You know, you are so double-minded in this sense. Okay, no, I'm not enjoying life now. I want to. Oh my God. Myself. Mario. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> Yeah, a difficult person to question. Okay, all right. Let me go to Samukwa. Samukwa, good evening. <laughs> a difficult to question now because you know you will start with something, you will no, go no, round, no, round, no, round, no. round, and you will come be when you end up no, in something no, else no. again. Doctor, you know when you ask exactly the question. What saying. Hmm? Doctor, you know when you ask the question, somebody needs to be to put we show himself so I will know how to answer the question. If, 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 the questions I ask are simple. You don't have to try try. That's not for, they are not simple. We are not like saying simple. Mm. They are not simple. We are not like saying simple. You know, there are spiritual questions. As someone needs to be spiritual to be able to answer the question. <laughs> okay, well, Mr. Samukwa, good evening. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, church. Okay. That boy's hand, is he healed now? Oh, yes. It's, it's uh, He's getting back to his. He's getting back into his uh, regular. Uh, uh, this thing. So he's he dressing... playing with Russia. Oh yes, yes, definitely. In fact, he has gone for a match now. He's not at all. <laughs> Thank God. And uh, and um, Christine is is back in London. Yes, she is. All right. We always have cause to give glory to God. Yes, we do. The, the, the question I have, which I've I've taken round, is if you, if you, what changes would you like God to make in your life today? What changes would I like God to make in my life today? Yes. Oh. There, there are plenty of. So I don't know. So I should just pick one. Uh, you can tell us two or three. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, I would I would like God to provide. Your new session has started. I would like God to provide me with a, a a more permanent job with a decent income. You know, that's one. 
And then the you second that, thing. You know, that, you know that you have to be very specific with God. Because sometimes God might not understand our English. <laughs> <laughs> because what you are what you are calling descent might be different from okay, okay, God's okay, definition, I understand of, God. God definition of descent. <laughs> okay, okay, I <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, right. You can discuss that with him. Okay, so yes. I'm just telling you that. Uh, so okay. when you are praying with him in your closet, uh, spell out the descent so that he knows exactly. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> number two. Number two is that I have come. Uh, I have uh, long since come to the conclusion that if one is supposed, if one is going to, you know, uh, have uh, fulfillment in in his work. I I cannot afford to be I can't afford to rely on any uh, working for anybody. So I would I want to set up my own company. You want to work for yourself? Yes, I want to work you for know, myself. I know. What what kind of company are you are you interested in setting up? <clears throat> uh, it's uh, um, an audiovisual company that is uh, an audiovisual company. Han, um, um, primarily concerned with uh, music and theater. Using okay, well, 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 Sam, you, you know, you, you are in a better place for that than in, that in Nigeria. From some of the things you are trying to do in Nigeria, uh, a better platform to where you are now. Okay, number three. Number three. Okay, number three has to do with my the second mandate he gave me. I am still I, I still want him to give me in, the, m enough clarity concerning the uh, uh, mandate he gave me about extending his touch to whomsoever wishes to receive it through anointed hands. I'm still waiting for his clarification on that. I keep asking every day, and I have not yet understood. Okay. Uh, my second question to you is that what are the things that you enjoy doing? The things that I enjoy doing? Yes. I enjoy creating I enjoy creating musical and theatrical content. Okay. Is that the only thing you enjoy doing? Well, I also, I want to, uh, let me put it this way. I used to enjoy, but I'm, I, I want to re, I want to revive that thing, the, um, the love of performance. Are you enjoying life at the moment? I would not say so. <laughs> Why I wouldn't say so. Why because... Because my idea of enjoyment of life is not my present situation yet. <laughs> what is your idea my, of enjoyment of life? My idea of enjoyment of life is freedom to do the things that I actually want to do, which are the mandates I've been given, what I've been called to do, and uh, or, or rather what I've been equipped to do, you know. But not to be busy running health task health and struggling for sustenance distracting me from that which it is I'm, uh, I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> that's my I, idea. I, 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 I will i will I, would i be right in concluding that you are somewhat uh, hindered by the cost of living mm. You could say so in a way, in a, in a way, in a way. Okay. But I don't know whether when I don't know it, whether it, it, even though even though some people would say ah, but you are in England too. Hmm. I don't know whether the accurate statement would be the cost of living or the uh, or the value of income. That, that I I I would look at it from the point of the value of income well then again if inflation is rising 
it now it now becomes the cost of living matter. Okay. All right. Let me go back to Abigail. Abigail. Yes, Dr. Kwan. To what extent is the cost of living affecting your life? This kind of this kind of <laughs> this kind of <laughs> is very pregnant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is this a <laughs> It, it it's, it's affecting my life to a great extent. Now school school has resumed. My children have not re resumed school because you go to the market today, you buy a measure of rice for six five. You go there tomorrow, they tell you seven five. You go, they have to eat. They're just basic living. And this this the middle call government is just just scattered everything. So it's it's affecting me. I would like the transportation is there. Could your life yeah, be affected by the cost of living? I don't I don't think so, but I I, I can't deny the fact that we're living on earth here and we, we we live through monetary means really it shouldn't i don't even know what i'm saying okay actually i have a little bit of money for you i will send it after the after, oh. after, after this oh, meeting um oh. let me go back to mr Dutton. Is your life also, is a miracle affecting your life? Mr. Adeleke? Yes, sir. I didn't get it. Is a miracle, is it affecting your life? <clears throat> well, I would say yes. Even though it's not a word to affect you. This is a miracle guy is in trouble, look. <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. uh, how is it affecting your life? Do you know that I have to I have to change my prayer point recently? I said, God, one, number one, increase my increase my income. You, you know, I said increase my income. Yeah. Because yeah, feeding a loan. Feeding a loan. Now, I don't know how to 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 to, 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 to I don't know how to quantify it. When the children are around, ha! Huh? When well, before we 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 would do say we will money, but now they, they came. There's a time they came. There's nothing in the house, and I saw that every cupboard I they just I just bring drop like this. You buy food, they buy food, 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 food. It's life about only food. And they they are, they are getting to that age, especially uh, that I me. You know, they get exactly. to one age where they eat a lot. They can eat the whole oh. house. There was a day I asked to call all of them. I said, yeah, everybody, go to your closet. Go and write whatever you want. Go and write it. When you write it, don't give it to me. Just go and talk to God in your corner. You know, so when I, when I do that, I thought that they are going, going back. And I call all of them. I said, oh, everything that you, you wrote, we are going to be marking them. Let's see. Because I know that for some time we've not bought them sandals and changed their bag, their school bag. This time around they say they want to change it. And we know we, we know that it's due. I say, oh, yeah, go and write. But for God so good, as of time they are going, God has given them bag, shoes, even though there are some that we have not finished paying, but God make those things available. You understand? So so that is the aspect that I was saying before that uh, we won't go and enjoy. I won't even say life, I'll say I'm enjoying God. You understand? Know but because in life itself is uh, also food is part of it. Protein is part of it. You know, that has me. I've not bought clothes for that I mean, for some years because it's in school. He's already wearing their school, wearing their whatever, whatever. Once he comes home, it's only one or two of his shirt. That's all. So that one, I know this one that is coming back. He will. Like, he's finished. He was like, finished. The only is why the next one coming. So I know that God is going to. I, I, I told him just face God. 
you know, so all these things that we are talking about is it's very it becomes a big deal. It becomes a big deal. Yeah, okay, since Abigail was talking about rice, you don't even go to food. Because the the increase in the fuel now has now if reflected on the food. After a month, everybody will understand. Places that have been when I drive now, people when people sit down, you pay they pay one thousand five normally. Now can't collect one thousand five, and people don't even have the money. They've not the tariff they charging. They've not even changed it because they don't still know how on which percentage are they going to change it. How they are they going to quantify the you know? So everything is just so. I just go. That's why God is the one that one needs now. I don't know how God is going to do it. I know that God knows everything. That is God. So is one that we need in this time. Me, I want God to increase my income. That is then my environment here. God well, but, but, but you, you don't think that God Himself is the one responsible for the <laughs> increase in prices. <laughs> You think, it's something, you, you, you think it's something that he's, he's going to react to? He might be the, he, he, when he, he's probably the one behind the whole thing. He's <laughs> <laughs> the one behind it. He's the one, I agree. He's <laughs> uh, the one. He's the one. He's the one. Okay. Well, uh, if I live lost, it's good, 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 good. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Doc. How are you doing? Taking each day uh, as it comes. Okay, we have, we have, you have, you have, have you snapped out of it? Let me put it that way. I'm trusting <laughs> God. I'm taking one day as it comes. Hey, you know, let me ask you a strange question, given, given the way you have been feeling lately. Are you enjoying life? Uh, no, I'm not enjoying life. <laughs> Why not? Well, I'm thankful for life. There's no doubt. But enjoying life in the fact that uh, this world is full of all kinds of things, you know. Uh, the things that will enable your spirit to be free to enjoy the good of this life, you know. What is making you not to enjoy life? Well, for me in particular, uh, having clarity, hearing from God, and you know, having the resources to actualize your dreams and your vision, you know, uh, those are the things that is uh, that is uh, the factors that fits my thought of not enjoying life. Because Jesus says a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. Yes, it does in terms of acquisition. Well, I want to believe that um, one's everyday experiences are not the same with acquisition of wealth or abundance of it. I, I don't think so. Not, not, not just acquisition, you know. I don't think our life is dependent on our possessions. Well, uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Uh, that's that's a, that is a scripture that shows the fact that bread is very important. Uh, bread is one of the things you need to. Actually, actually it's the opposite. You have, you have not understood. <laughs> he lives by every word, in which case the word is what is important, not the bread. Well, that, that is my so the, the scripture is designed is designed to to de-emphasize your focus on bread and put your focus on the true bread, which is the bread of life, the word of God. Well, I, I don't know if I understand it that way, but um I still believe there's a relevance that, of the bread. I mean, if the relevance of the bread is not there, uh, there are so many things it will say, you know, that has to do with our physical needs. Our physical needs have their own role or their places. Of course they do. But it's the importance of which we place them. That is where I believe the cross of the matter lies. 
Nevertheless, yeah, so, so, they are so, so let's, 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 give, let's, 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 let's see what percentages you are going to attribute to it. If if everything is 100%, which percentage would you give to physical bread? And which percentage would you give to spiritual bread? 30% to physical bread, 70% to spiritual bread. Yeah. <laughs> so, if it is 70% to spiritual bread, why are you having a problem with life? Like because I said, if, you get, clarity. If, if, you, if you have the 70% of the spiritual bread, that's, 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 you are, you are already 70%. That, you know, I mean, 70% in any exam is a good is a good mark. Yeah, for me, clarity is the the reason why, like I said earlier on, that what is what is what is what is clouding your mind? That when a man has clarity, there is there is understanding and wisdom that comes with that. What is giving you is lack of that, clarity? That's what I'm asking. Well, not hearing from God, I believe. Not hearing from God. Read the Bible now. Uh, the Bible is written word. I mean, yes, the Bible is, that, the the Bible, the Bible is yeah. spirit. It's spiritual. It's talking. God is talking to you through the scriptures. Yeah, but God is is God limited to talking to you through the scriptures? No, he's not limited. But you say you are not hearing from God. Okay. I say you can hear from God by reading the scriptures. Why should you say you must hear from Him, but not from the scriptures? One of the well, best ways to hear from God is by reading the scriptures. If you read the scriptures, then God is going to be able to speak to you through the scriptures. Anyway, th those are my answers. All right. Thank you. Um, Samukwa, how do men generally enjoy life? <laughs> Men as in human beings or men gender? Human beings. Well, how do they enjoy life? From my observation, it seems to me like, I, I, well, I th because I think everybody's uh, idea of enjoyment is different, but from what I observe... As a general rule. I, as a general rule, it looks to me like people's idea of enjoyment is acquiring material, the acquisition and consumption of material resources. That is that is uh, what I have observed. Break it down for us so that we understand your, your grammar is much. I said the acquisition and consumption. Can we add you that that I, I want you to break it down beyond that so that yes, we will know what it is. That's what I'm saying. The 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 the, the pursue acquiring things, you know, get money, houses, um, cars, property, you know, the, the, that is what they pursue, and they, they derive enjoyment and satisfaction from doing those things, and then using them and uh, um, for their pleasure, spending yeah, money I, I, on. How, how do they use them for their pleasure? Spend money on things they like, eating, drinking, traveling, uh, buying, the, the changing wardrobes, you know, doing things that are people, showing off to people so that people can see that they are, they are doing well. You know, That's, uh, the, some of them love to hang around in, in, uh, in, in pubs and bars, drinking and spending money and showing on friends and so on. Some some of them some are some 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 people's idea of enjoyment is is uh, following every football match on the planet and <laughs> supporting supporting uh, uh, a, a particular team. They can even travel anywhere to go and watch that team. You know the the freedom to to uh, uh, acquire anything they want. And you know, uh, and have spent time enjoying it, enjoying the the, the use of those things. Uh, Sam, let me let me let me let me share something with you and put it put as a question. Uh, several years ago, a member of Healing Wings <clears throat> came to see me, 
And she said that Asha, you know the lady called Asha? Yes. Uh, she is having a concert in London. And her husband wants to go to the concert. That is, he wants to buy a ticket, fly to London, go to the concert, and come back. Then she asked me, so what do I think of this? Do I think it makes sense? Did I pose the question to Sam? Does it make sense? Asha is having a concert in London. I asked her, I said, you know, Asha is a Nigerian. Now, wouldn't she ultimately come to do a concert in Nigeria itself? Said, wants to, you know, you know, O2 Arena is different from, is different from, uh, <laughs> <don't know>. uh, <laughs> even from Liberty Stadium or wherever. <laughs> uh, so, what, what, what do you think? Well, that was that was what crossed my, the first thing that crossed my mind is what you just said. That I mean, I asked, I, why not just sit down and wait for? Why not sit down and wait? Anytime she comes to Nigeria, you attend the show, and if you if, must, you go to London to attend the show unless he had a reason to be going to London before and the show happened to fall there. But if it is just a stand do up you, and do, go, do, do, do you actually believe him that it was really a shot that he was going there? Uh, well, that's another thing. Nobody knows what his agenda was. <laughs> yeah, so, but, but, what uh, you know, uh, but, but what, do you, what do you think of somebody who can do that? Can just buy a ticket, go to London, watch Asha, come back home? Would you not say the man is enjoying life? Uh, in his mind, yes, he's enjoying life. No, I'm not, I didn't afford... ask you about his mind. I'm asking. I'm asking Sam. My questions uh, are to you. you. Don't ask. You can't answer questions I pose to you and put and send it to somebody else. Yeah, but from from my point of view, I wouldn't be. I, it is only it is the enjoyment of life in that kind of scenario. Is it applies to him, not to me? Because for for me, that type of thing before. For you know, for 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 somebody of my would mindset, you say to start with you? I've not answered my question. You're just talking. Would you say to start with that a man who buys a ticket from Lagos to London to watch Asha and comes back that is an index of his enjoyment of life? Oh yeah, for him yes, I would say so. I'm talking about you. You have gone back to for him again. I'm saying ah. for you. For is me. That Yes, is that an index of his enjoyment of life? No, for me, it is an index of unwise spending. Yeah. Yes. So how how <laughs> how should how how else is he have spent the money? Doctor, the we there's so much we see around us happening now that I mean for for somebody for somebody to take money buy a plane ticket buy um auto arena ticket but that's and what he enjoys like... eh? you say that's what he enjoys yes that is what he enjoys but what i'm saying is to do that to fulfill that kind of enjoyment i always i always think there are so many other things i think of before that, oh, unless there, unless there is some, if it is just a matter of enjoyment, ah, it's hard for me. It's hard for, it's hard for my brain to, to assimilate that, that as enjoyment. You know, for well, me, you know, no. my my wife told me today that a friend of hers just buried either the mother or the father. And it cost her thirty thousand dollars, which when I when I when I did the math, nearly fifty million naira. Now, is that an enjoyment? <laughs> that, if if she if she gave that information to certain people in Nigeria, they would swear for her. <laughs> he came. The, the, the barrier was in Nigeria now. Uh, the barrier was. Get... That's what I'm saying. So, so if uh, that's what I'm saying. If she, she came to do the barrier in Nigeria, 
If that information got to certain people, they would probably kidnap her. <laughs> because because so many she people... doesn't live in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Yeah, but if they had the opportunity, they would really grip her because a lot of people would be thinking, ah, look at the way, look at the kind of thing that is happening here. And people are suffering this kind of way. And somebody is blasting this kind of money to bury somebody that you didn't spend the thirty thousand dollars on when the person was alive. You know, so <laughs> a lot of people will get angry. <laughs> okay, I, I think uh, uh, Ben Lick has something to say. Um. Yes, I would say the best thing now. Bought the tickets and leave Nigeria to go to watch Asha. It's part of enjoyment life. One, because he can afford it. And second, it is. Probably not enjoying body. life. Is, 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 that not, is that not enjoyment? It's enjoyment. Huh? Yes, the enjoyment. The enjoyment. Okay. Uh -huh. So, what? So what do you want to add to the matter? Uh, because Mr. Dan was saying that um, maybe uh, I don't think they had to like in, in Germany. Like if you have you have you have to buy tickets and even in Germany you want to reach out to Nigeria. You know, because part of, part of what you enjoy doing, like watching a football match, and you refuse to watch it on on it uh, on the pay TV. Yes, you know, I mean, there, there, there is Olympic Games is in Paris. So you, uh, you, you 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 buy a ticket, you go to I'm Paris to watch the Olympics. Is that not is that not enjoyment? Enjoyment. Once you watch it live, you want to be in that stadium live. Yes. It's not what you enjoy. There's a difference now from watching this thing on television that you are watching there with you know, I mean you go to to, to an Arsenal match. Right? Uh, in in the stadium itself, not not that you are just using it on uh, DSTV. That is, that is a certain joy that I, that I give to you to your flesh that make you want to go. Mm -hmm. Good. It's not enjoying this world because you can afford it. If you cannot afford it, it's a different case. Even if you cannot afford it, you might still want to go there. That I if I have money, this is what I will do. It's also enjoyment because where you can afford it, that you're not doing. When this month cookies on, you can afford it and instead of spend money on it. But what you enjoy, the way that people enjoy food. So people eat food that they enjoy. All right, Mr. Adelik. Yes, sir. The, well, the, uh, enjoyment sometimes, me, I don't know. When I see some certain things, people will say whether me, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm one kind of a person. Because me, I don't understand how you want to watch football match to satisfy your body or satisfy you, what you're you saying. You don't like football in your own case. Do you like football? I love football. Which which I, which, I which, which team? Which which team do you watch? I watch I, I watch a uh, Premiership and I watch uh, a. You, you, like you see, you are not you are not like uh, you are not like Benedict now. <laughs> 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 you are not, you are not, a, you are not a football fan. Yeah, but, you are not a you know. yeah, but Benedict has never saved money to say he wants to go to. Barcelona but Benedict to is a football is a football fan. We, you, you are not. You know, Benedict has has a team that he that he watches. <laughs> you don't know. ever have enough. Am I just now, if, I ask you, if, if I ask you now, who who is the uh, uh, manager of? Uh, uh, Liverpool, will you tell me who it is? <laughs> it is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't your, know. Your, your, your own enjoyment is not football. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, but, it's not, but, it's not but it's not still right to when we glorify the body too much to the level that uh, uh, you have to spend a ticket. When some people are hungry around, around you and you see them, you just ignore. The money you are spending is not your money now. It's your father's money. Why are you wasting it? Eh? You, you know that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to be corrected. Yeah, the man you, don't thinks you, wasting, you think he thinks he's wasting the money? He's spending uh -huh. the money. He's not wasting it. Uh, he's enjoying, he's using the money for something he enjoys. 
So it's Tony to lose. Think that is wasting the money. Yo, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me, let me ask Appa a strange question. Appa. Good evening again. Is Appa with us? Yes, I'm here. Yes, Appa, have you ever seen a dead man dancing? A dead man dancing? Yes. No. Have you, have you, you, have, you have not seen dead men dancing? I don't want to see, Seth. Huh? You have not <laughs> seen dead men... <laughs> you, have seen, you, have, you have never seen dead men eating and drinking at a party before? Oh, okay. You, have, you haven't? Huh? Oh. You, have, oh. you, you, have, you haven't seen dead men enjoying life before? I have. Uh -huh. uh, they're enjoying life, oh. Mm. I have. But they are mm. dead men. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, what what life do you think they're enjoying? Mm. No, no life. <laughs> they are not enjoying life. They are dead, so they can't be enjoying life. They don't have. But they, but they, fly, they, are, they are flying all over the world. Uh -huh. they, are flying, they are flying to go and watch Asha. They are mm. flying to the Olympics. They are marrying wives. They are buying houses. They are dead men. Mm. Mm. They are having a good time. But they are dead. Mm -hmm. mm. But they don't know. Mm. Okay? As far as they are concerned, they're enjoying mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So, Appa, let me let me put the question to you this way. Jesus says that he came to give life. But what kind of life were people living before Jesus came? Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they had life before he came. So how can he say he came to give life? Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you help me with that with that question? He said he came well, and come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly and say, you know, wait a minute. Uh, we were living before you came now. Mm -hmm. uh, so please, can you help me? What life were they living before you came? They were dead. They were not living. Uh, how, how do you define their, their dead life? So without what, were they, what what are some of the attributes of that dead life that they were that they were living? Uh, they did not have God. I think they no, no, did no, not no. know. I I I want to know what they have, not what they didn't have. What were some of the attributes of their dead life? Well, they what were. Life if they, they were, were eating, they were eating. They, thank you. Uh, they, they were doing, they were drinking. What else were they doing? What else were they doing? They were eating and drinking, mm -hmm. and they were playing. Do you think they were going to parties before he came? Yes, they were. Okay. <clears throat> Do you think they were having a good time before he came? Yeah, they were. The the, the eating and drinking was he was having a good time outside of him. So eating and drinking and having this so-called good life is a life of death. Mm -hmm. hmm? Using Jesus' definition. Because otherwise you will say, what have, we, what have we got to do with you? 
please, we are having a good time before you came now. So what is it that you are coming to 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 to, to give us? Uh, we are drinking wine. We are going to parties. We are having banquets. We are marrying wives. We are building houses. I may come out for road. Um, so, Appa, what is the difference between the life that Jesus came to give or the life that Jesus gives and the life that they had before he came and the life that we we had before we came to the knowledge of him? What's the difference? Because one cannot be life. It must be a misnomer. What's the difference? Well, the difference could be a that um we could be doing those things, but we are doing it in moderation and with a consciousness of we are not doing it excessively as if that is all that is all that is is there we are not we are not um we are not going to go after it with the way the way people in the world, do it. I don't know if I'm saying anything. So we're still we're still enjoying those things, but with a moderation. And then we don't put so much importance to it. We have it. That is fine. We don't have it. We still go on this contentment. In whatever we find, wherever we find ourselves. Let's let's understand something. Okay, was there food before he came? Yes. But this was this, you know. Okay, so uh, if he has come to give us life, he cannot come to give us something that we had before, which he now wants to give us in moderation. Okay. So the life that he has come to give us cannot have food in it. But mm -hmm. people says it's 30%. It can't be 30%. Mm -hmm. The life that he has come to give us must be fundamentally different from the life that we had before. If we had it before he came, what's the point of him coming? If what he has come to give us is life. Mm -hmm. uh, let me pose the question to um, who have I not spoken to recently. Uh, let me go back to Palibo Dawson himself. The man, the man himself. Pagar Stephen. Chairman, sir. <laughs> Jesus says that he has come that we might have life and that we will have this life abundantly. So, and Abba is saying that he wants us to have the old life but moderately. No, he's talking about abundantly now. It's not the, the life he wants to give us is not a moderate life. So, uh, the life that he wants to give us must be fundamentally different from the one that we had before he came. Okay? And the question is, what was the life, or what is the life before Christ? And how we differentiate it from the life after the intervention of Christ? With the life before Christ did not have God 
the center of it. So the differentiator or the differential element in the life he has come to give to us is, is the God element, the understanding of who God is, because God is eternal, God is love, God is unlimited. And so anything that is God, in which we didn't even understand or know, is obviously the blessing, and that is the life that has come to give to us. Because the blessing, the, the life is come to give to us is the true blessing. And that blessing that we we know of him, we've heard of him. I mean, I think the scripture where that uh, Abra uh, Abraham, uh, I think Jesus says, so Abraham rejoiced to see you, my day or something of that nature. And so that life is fundamentally a spiritual life, uh, which obviously has its influence on our physical existence because it's a life that gives us the privilege of operating in two in two worlds at the same time, in two worlds in one body. And so that's a life of peace. It's a life of, uh, it's a life of actually, you know, because I, I uh, there was this time I was thinking about all these kinds of pleasures that we think that we are enjoying, whether it is sex, whether it is food, whether it's alcohol, whether it's uh, houses, fashions, uh, those those are not actually the kinds of pleasures that really endure. And I think it was on Thursday or so we were discussing about uh, some things. Uh, there is nothing that we might call enjoyment in this world that does not have a dichotomy to it, a, a native or an end to it. So that is a life without death. That is a life of, I would say, a life of clarity. Because, I mean, it's a life of wisdom. It gives you that insight into that reality. And it's a life, in conclusion, it's a life I don't think that the reality has actually even gotten into our minds. You speak know? For yourself, so speak for yourself. me, that's don't, 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 life. Which, which is our minds? Speak for yourself. Yeah, because it's, because the, the, reality, um, the clarity uh, hasn't got into the mind of a Palibolos. Yeah, no one, the, 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 yeah, you know that part of scripture now. Eyes have not seen that. I have what wonderful thing that the Lord has in store for those. But God who... has revealed it to us by His Spirit. Okay, don't 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 fail to get to the end of it. You know, eye has not seen, ear has not heard. It has not come into the minds of men what God has prepared for those who love Him. But God has revealed it to us by His Spirit. For His Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Hmm? So all right, that part that part I didn't put. Yeah. You did not you did not include that part. All right, okay. uh, sister uh, uh, th thank you, Kalibu. Uh, sister Abigail, back to you. <laughs> so uh, mm. what life does Jesus want us to enjoy? He wants us to enjoy the life of the Father. How, you know, there's it, this scripture that... What, what, do you, what do you mean by enjoying the life of the Father? I mean, I don't understand. How can you enjoy <laughs> somebody else's life? Uh, I, I mean, you know, know, can, 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 can you enjoy... Can you enjoy yeah, go ahead. There's a scripture that says uh, you are gods and all of you are the children of a most high. For yes. he shall die like mere men. You know, the, 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 the Most High, he's un, unlimited in his power. He's holy. He, he's clean. He's pure. His thoughts are pure. And when he created Adam, he created Adam with power, with, uh, with authority over the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and everything. Adam didn't have to manipulate. Yeah his will or anything like they had to get any he didn't have to manipulate until Satan came in and all that can I, can so I ask I believe... you something can I ask you something quickly yes sir would you want us to go back to the time of Adam actually because I wouldn't mind it I, I don't no way <laughs> I don't, you know the time of the time of Adam <laughs> is, is far worse than the time of Christ 
this the first Adam. Is it wrong? Huh? There's nothing that we, what am I looking Ad, for? Adam before, Adam before sin. Adam before sin. Adam before whatever, whatever. Okay. Huh? Adam before whatever, okay. whatever. The son of God in Adam was living where in the garden. Where is the son of God now? He's on the okay. throne. Yeah. <laughs> different. Well, please, uh, no. Okay. okay. The different, I, I the different matter entirely. Okay. Anyway, go. Okay. I listen to you. Yeah. So, um, and Jesus came to give us the, the very life of God, where we don't have to be subservient to 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 Satan or to any other person's will. To be, will be in our original state. So, so let, let let me tell you what my why I raised the question. Which you might have forgotten when you said he wants us to enjoy the life of God. No, he he wants us to enjoy God. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, you can't yeah. enjoy somebody like he wants us to he enjoy to God. Enjoy. Yes, yeah. God, God is there for us to enjoy. Okay, yes. so if you want to enjoy life, you need to enjoy God. Enjoy God. Yes. And so, you know, can you educate me as to how I can enjoy God? <laughs> I might not be able to educate you now, but just obey me. How obey can him, I enjoy God? Him. Got it? Obey him. Love God. Love the Lord with all your heart. Now, practical, your practical Christianity. Practical Christianity. How can mm -hmm. I enjoy God? No, I'm sorry. I have to answer that question. Maybe someone else. We'll so they, they can enjoy God in spending time with God. If you enjoy, if you enjoy, <laughs> some, yeah. if you enjoy, if you enjoy somebody, uh, you will not stay away from them. You understand? No, you won't. Yes, if you so, so, <laughs> to, to enjoy God, God time. becomes God becomes your delight. God, you want yeah. to spend time with Him. You want to talk with Him. You don't want to leave Him. You want to read His Word. Now, what can you do? Yes, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, he's driving and uh, the, uh, uh, he's driving is taking him away from God. I said, No way, even while you are driving, you are enjoying God while you are driving. Uh -huh. you know, the other so, day, early in the morning, I was walking on the road and I was just talking to God and talking, and this fellow walked back and he looked at me as if I was going out of my mind or I was going north and everything. I just Hello, good morning, and uh, I continued continued my talking. I was talking to my God. I wasn't talking to him. I wasn't going up. But 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 yeah. a lot of people do that now, and they are not praying. They put you know like if I lost it, they will put something in their ear like this, okay, and then they are just mm -hmm. walking. They are talking. They are talking to somebody. You but you know you think they are talking to themselves. Oh. You know, I see somebody standing on the road, and the person is just arguing. You know, all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was arguing or anything. Well, somebody talking is talking to, to somebody teacher. somewhere. Mm. It's talking to somebody somewhere, huh? Yeah. So to, to enjoy God, you must enjoy singing praises to God. You enjoy just God. singing to God. You must enjoy reading the scriptures. You en you must yeah. enjoy spending time in prayer. You must enjoy mm. you know, just speaking in tongues. Mm. You must enjoy, I mean, you know, that and um, that becomes the enjoyment of life. Yes. Okay. And that okay does not cost you that is that is completely immune to the exchange rate. <laughs> it's, it it has nothing to do with, with the cost of transportation. <laughs> they can raise petrol price to anything. It doesn't prevent you from enjoying yes. God. My God, yes. Okay? Yeah. It doesn't. Okay? Now, yeah. And if it doesn't prevent you from enjoying God, then it doesn't prevent you from enjoying life. Life. And, and, yes. And, and so really, uh, the life that is affected by Milo Kong, 
the life that is affected by prices, exchange rate, cost of living, cost of petrol, and all this is the dead life. All right. Is a life that has no life. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Is the life that is counterfeit. Is the life that dead men are are living. Living. Mm. You understand? Mm. When it's not the it's, yes. it's not the it's not the life that Jesus came to give us. Mm. That Jesus purchased for us by sacrifice. All right. Thank you, Abigail. So Thank let me ask uh, um, um, Benedict, what kind of life did Jesus himself live? Sir. The man who came. Sir. Sir, 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 sir. <laughs> <laughs> you always come with this, sir. What is your sir, sir, sir? I don't know what you are trying to achieve with it. What, what, kind, what kind of life did Jesus live? Ah, the life that Jesus lived. Yes. Is 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 um, is it my my to to someone like me? It's a difficult life. Why did he go? Because um, Jesus only enjoyed God. He does not pay attention to what place he finds. That kind of life is an righteous life. Is the only life, life that is only what God wants you to do that you will do. Even though you know, in one one in, in one particular place said. I came to do the will of who sent me, even though he has about to do his own will, he not his own will, but just the life of the life that who sent him, that is our father in the heaven, the life that God gave to him, that, that life that he gave him, is it's, it's just the life of God that he lives on else. And for someone like me, I don't know when I will get there. Because I, I see bother about... What, what is holding you back, I beg you? <laughs> what is holding you back? Huh? <laughs> is it? <laughs> because, because the life that Jesus wants to give you, you can start living it right... In fact, immediately we finish this, and you can go into that life now. <laughs> yes, I can, I can go, but I'm going into the partially, which is... Which is wrong? I cannot deceive myself. So by this way, I'm just with myself. I'm living it partially. Is it because you, you really do enjoy? Life. You don't. You don't find enjoyment in that life. You know, I don't find enjoyment in that life. I, it, it's just that. Um, that life is not pleasurable. I, That's what we were talking about yesterday. At uh, what part of it? There's, there's, there's this uh, fight, fight between physical flesh and blood and the spiritual uh, and this thing. Yeah, it's spiritual man. Yeah, it's spiritual man. Yeah, it's spiritual man. Benedict, okay. yeah, it's yeah, spiritual man. Yeah, it's spiritual yeah. man. You yeah, are not flesh and blood anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me bring it down. You just, you just sometimes. <sighs> Okay, now, like, 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 I don't know, I don't know what to do this. I just, I just know that I'm not doing it the way, I'm not living it because I'm supposed to be a prayer warrior. I'm supposed to be praying every day by day for somebody or for the, for the, for the kingdom, but I'm not doing it. What is preventing you from doing it? What's preventing you? I don't know. I can't say. I, I don't know. But I'm, but I will say because I, what I want to do. Is not allowing me to do what God wants me to do. Yeah, I've come to preach to myself today. Right, really, what, 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 what I want to do is not allowing me to do what God wants me to do. Like I, I don't know what's preventing you because you know this the, the life that we are talking about 
doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to pay money for it. At you don't all. have, to, you don't have to, to, to get permission from anybody for it. At uh, all. You can do it anywhere, anyhow, anytime. They can't lock you out of the church or out of workplace so that you cannot get there. You can do it whether you're on the street of Lagos. The kingdom, the kingdom of God is within you. Sometimes, sometimes, I will find that the Holy Spirit is telling me to listen to gospel song. I will tell myself, I will listen to the boy I know. So that they will not listen to gospel song. I'm confessing, you know, that was that one. Since I'm in this, and you have been knocking me to listen to gospel song. And when you listen to gospel song, you feel your heart. I will just say, I will do, I will, before I know, nothing will happen in that area. But then you listen to, okay, this thing will do, but people cannot even say, okay. Just play audio your audio Bible and see I will find you go to I'm saying I'm not leaving it and when you don't leave it, when I'm leaving what I'll go on to leave a little early to you, you cannot be in the middle. You would dance on the tune of the word. That's why knowing it. That's why I tell myself, all these things, God has a way to do it. But how come you're not making the plan to you? how come you're not practicalizing it? Which you know that when you go in particular, like this. make it a prayer point. God Himself will help us. He will help us. Sir Mukwa, good evening again. Yes, doctor. Husband of Christine. I think that's how they would describe you in the Bible that they're going to write next. <laughs> Sam, can you can you help me understand this scripture? The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. In one, in the context of what we are discussing tonight, that means the kingdom of God is is not in the idea of enjoyment that we see men. Enjoy so supposedly, but it is more of what you have already described in terms of uh, spending time with God and <clears throat> enjoying fellowship with Him, enjoying a relationship with Him, and uh, and as a matter of fact, the, the relationship with Him comes with a lot of perks, you know. So it's Sam, uh, Sam, I, need, I need I need your help, Sam. So what if those are not the things that I enjoy? That, you know, I mean, uh, yes, uh, sometimes come to fellowship or whatever, but what I really enjoy is, uh, you know, watching some movies, drinking Fanta, going to parties, spraying every weekend, you know, you take HIV, Go there, you shake your bop up, and uh, yes. So, what am I supposed to do? You what you're supposed to do? I, is to I, can't, I can't. I can't force myself to enjoy what I am not enjoying. Yeah, well, but the but the question will now be: Do you actually want to enjoy? <laughs> but you actually want the enjoyment <laughs> that. But I already okay. have one enjoyment. Uh, yeah, do you, uh, do you? So are you interested in the other one? So if you are interested in the other one, it's a different matter. We can look for a solution for you. But if you are not interested at all, we can't help you. Uh, Jesus says, he who loves his life, we lose it. Wow. He who hates his life in this world, we keep it for eternal life. Uh, yeah. So how for you now, Sam? Uh, you see, the 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 thing is, if you actually, but I don't I don't think that he wants you to to I don't think that he wants you to follow what he says out of fear. He needs you to follow it out of understanding and your own judgment of which is a better option. Out of, out of desire too now. Mm -hmm. And. Knowing which one is which one will pay you more, you know, which will pay you better. 
do, so uh, if if we if we if we say we don't like uh, we don't we don't like it it is only god that can help us to to uh, uh, to adapt and enjoy the 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 god life the, enjoy him because without him he's not even without him giving us that improvement it's not even possible who you you, you who, if you ask if you ask people now and they say okay what is it you enjoy when you are in fellowship with god you may hear things like oh you feel you feel uh, edified you feel elated you feel like you are you are in a different world. You feel they are in clarinet. A lot of descriptions you are going to give. But in his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Exactly. But then the question is, what kind of uh, pleasures, what kind of joy? And the people that you are asking, uh, are they familiar with that type of thing? And uh, are you going to? And do you want to be walking about in euphoria all your life? So it is only God that can give us the ability <clears throat> to enjoy Him. You know, other, other, otherwise, no, we, we wouldn't be interested. Otherwise, we, do, we wouldn't be interested. But the times that He has granted us that ab ability, and we actually, and we actually tasted of it, you must. Confess that actually it's fantastic. It was a great fantastic. video. Let me, let me not lie. You know, <laughs> you, you wouldn't have wanted to, you wouldn't have wanted to go go there by yourself. But <laughs> by the time he leads you there gently somehow, mm, yes. and you experience it, ah. you now come and <laughs> Ah, then well, something, that I, that something is always dragging us back to the other you get one. Exactly. <laughs> and then I'm sure somebody like I'm sure somebody like Timmy Palibu will say, Ah, how I wish that. Ah, you know, you know that you know you know that uh, uh, that uh, statement from one of Jesus Christ's disciples where when uh, at the transfiguration where one said it's a, ah, we are enjoying this situation so much. Why don't we can just we, can we stay here forever? <laughs> Let's just stay here and not go back. <laughs> that's, that, that's the kind of thing, you know. Then you will remember a Miloko, and then you now, uh, okay. With a Miloko, somebody will now. Your mind starts all the, all the things you escaped from in that period begin to flood back into your mind and you start worrying. But then, you see, the reason why he gave us that opportunity to enjoy that sensation is for us to know. Because within that time and that period and that uh, uh, expression, there is a kind of peace that you cannot understand. Mm -hmm. There's a kind of peace that that the, nothing from the uh, Milukon's world can mm -hmm. penetrate. That's right. You. you know, so I mean, so, he, somebody he, said, "Taste, taste the Lord, and know it's good." You just give, you just have a taste. <laughs> exactly. So when it happens, we 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 forget that the reason he allowed it to happen is so that we will remember that experience and thank remember you. that thank, thank, within thank that God. environment there is no care, there is no worry, and At he all. is able to handle everything, even when you go back into the uh, world of the Milukon. He is still there. So anytime, run back into that presence, enjoy it, and leave all the problems with him. And he knows how to take care of it. He always has. He always has something up his sleeves. <laughs> he always. So if if I remember lesson, Stephen, if I lesson. What's the other name? Uh, Belimato, uh, what is the What's the uh... Oputamuno Belamatua? Oputamuno Belamatua. Okay. So, uh, 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 Steve, now, since Sir. Jesus is now your life, what, does that, what exactly does that mean now? You know? Okay? Because uh, the dead life is, 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 is nailed to the cross. 
Jesus is now your life. What does it mean in practical terms that Jesus is now the life of a palibo? And if Jesus is now the life of a palibo, should the palibo be sorrowful or should it be joyful? The palibo should be joyful, should, not sorrowful. Should, should the palibo be joyful? Should be sorrowful that Mama has gone to be with Jesus, or it should be it should be joyful. It should not be sorrowful. Uh, so preach to us. We are listening. He should have his eyes. He should have his eyes fixated on on Christ. And the implication of Christ being your life is your very existence is defined by His words. Your very existence is defined by his principles. You actually live life through the the prisons, the prism of Christ. And so everything that you do, everything that you are engaged in, it is for, for Christ's sake or through Christ. So uh, you learn his ways, you learn his languages, you learn his principles. And then you apply them, whether it's in business, whether it's with your spouse, whether it's in your family, whether it's at the work, whether it's in the public. Uh, so that, for me, is what it means practically. Okay, so, Palibu, uh, I have a prayer request. Okay, which uh, you are going to help me with. First prayer request is that God will give us the grace hmm, to live, to enjoy God. You understand? Not bothering by the, with, with, the, with the milocon, a milocon, a a whatever, you know, forget about all those, you know, that in spite of everything, God will, you know, that we will just enjoy Him. Okay? That's one element. My second prayer request yes, has to do with a palatable lesson. If you are going to pray, I'm asking you to pray for a palatable lesson. That a palatable lesson will no longer be sorrowful, but will be joyful. Will rejoice in the Lord. That the joy of the Lord uh, will completely overshadow a palatable lesson. And that he will bless God that his mother died in faith and that he knows. The Bible says that uh, we, 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 we rejoice in hope. We, we know that love hopes all things. We know that she has gone to glory. Okay, so henceforth, if Alibo is just going to be blessing God and blessing God and blessing God for our man, and the third prayer point, another people might have after we have finished this. Third prayer point is that every part of our body, every bone in our body, everything you know, everything that is that's been hindering her, causing her pain, giving her discomfort, God will take them away in the name of Jesus, because huh, we are holding him to His word that whosoever we touch and pray for, He will heal. And God, we are holding God account for that word, which we know because he is God, because he is steadfast, because he is faithful, because he is loving, because he is so gracious that God will fulfill it now, here and now in Apa Adi. Oh yeah, Malibu. Father, we thank you for this privilege and this moment that you granted unto us to come together as a family and as a people whose hearts are fixated upon you. We bless your holy name because you are the one who has orchestrated this wonderful moment because nothing, oh God, that is from you or that is with you is ever coincidental. You are the one who knows the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning. And so, Father, Lord God Almighty, as we are learning each day to understand the reality of your kingdom, 
the spiritual kingdom that dwells within us and the life with which you have given to us through the coming of yourself, through Christ Jesus, to help us understand, Lord God, where the true riches of life actually dwells. We say thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the privilege, because so many people who, who should be hearing this are not here today, but you've given us the privilege, O oh Lord God Almighty, to even dig deeper into your mind. And so, Lord God, we are asking you this day, this very day, O oh God, as we hold you to account of your word, the Lord God, you will grant us the grace to enjoy you. Amen. You will grant us the grace, O oh Lord God Almighty, not just only to enjoy you, but to live in you and in you alone. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, you will grant us that grace, O oh Lord God, that the deepest pleasures that our spirit, or even our body and soul we ever desire, will be you. Because yes. you are the God who says that on your right hand are pleasures forevermore. These are pleasures that we've not even been able to phantom except, O oh Lord, by the revelation of your spirit. And so God Almighty, give us that grace through the revelation of your spirit to gain into deeper levels with you that we may enjoy you every single waking hour and sleeping hours of our lives. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, we are asking you this day, Lord, that you will grant us that grace to even enjoy you in our dreams. Because we know you are the God who visits your own. You are the God who comes down to even sup and, of course, to, to, to relax with your own people. Father, we want to begin to enjoy you in ways that we have never, ever experienced you. We want Amen. to enjoy you, O oh Lord God Almighty, in the morning. We want to enjoy you in the afternoon. We want to enjoy you in the evening. We want to enjoy Amen. you in the midnight. We want to enjoy you while we drive, O oh Lord God Almighty. We want to enjoy you while we eat, while we sleep, while we dress, while we walk, while we talk. We ask your grace, O oh Lord God Almighty, that the only and one thing in our life should be you and you alone. Amen. Because God Almighty, you are the treasure that we can ever, ever desire. You are the treasure that is inexhaustible. You are the treasure that is unlimitless. You are the treasure, O oh Lord God Almighty, that can never be quantified. You are the treasure, O oh Lord God Almighty, that's not even comparis, compared to the most luscious of the luscious of this world. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because it is your grace that gives us, O oh Lord, the strength. It's your grace that gives us the key. It's your grace that gives us the access. From this day, henceforth, O oh Lord, to the day you call us from this body, let us begin to enjoy you. Not Amen. just penitentially alone, but geometrically. We will enjoy you outstandingly. We will enjoy you wonderfully. Amen. So that, Lord God Almighty, we will feel not just the presence of you, but we will be carrying your presence with us. Amen. My Lord and my God, there is nothing as good and sweet as to be drunk in the spirit. We want to always be drunk in your spirit, Lord, because in your Amen. spirit, when we are drunk, our eyes see clearly all that exudes from us is love. We we'll see through the clarity of your lenses. We are able to even walk in atonement and in, in, in atonement with you. Father, that is the life we desire. The consciousness of you, the conversation with you, the relating with you. These are pleasures, Lord God Almighty, money cannot buy. It is only by your grace we can enter into those deep realities of your truth, of who you are. And so, Lord God Almighty, we are asking you this day to grant us that grace. Because Amen. with that grace, O oh Lord God Almighty, we are not going to walk and miss. We will walk the straight and narrow path with heart full of joy, knowing the fact that, Lord, the life which you have promised us, the life which you have revealed to us, the life which you are giving to us, O oh Lord, is like what you say that you make it richer, you have no sorrow to it. It is a life that is good without an yes. iota of evil. Thank it is you, a Jesus. life that is completely love without an iota of evil. Thank because, you, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, there is only one that is good, and that is you. And so, Lord God Almighty, let us begin to enjoy the goodness of who you are in our life. Fill our hearts with Amen. your love. So Amen. that, Lord God Almighty, that the only thing we will feel, the only thing we will desire, the only thing we will aspire will be you and yes. nothing else anymore. We thank you, Lord, for that might, because this grace is indeed what we need. And so, Lord God Almighty, I'm praying for Stephen Oputamno. We're asking this day, God Almighty, that Father, the joy will overshadow him. Amen. Father, he will no longer be sorrowful. He shall be Amen. filled with the joy. 
Amen. You shall be filled with the joyfulness of your presence. You shall be filled Amen. with the joyfulness of your will. You shall be filled Amen. with the joyfulness of that which you have determined Amen. according to your purpose. My Lord and my God, I present Stephen before you, God Almighty, that henceforth, Lord God Almighty, you will open in, within him the fountain in which you are, so that, Amen. Lord, his words will be that of the blessing of your name Amen. and of your goodness unto your glory. We did not let that his mother passed in faith. As a matter of fact, she, she had a premonition that she was going to go. And she went ahead speaking and preaching, even if it was just to one person. Help Stephen Lawson to understand that is indeed a son that has been enlisted, that has been anointed for your glory. And Amen. it should live beyond sorrow. It should live according to your dictation. It should live Amen. according to your purpose. Amen. Not like one who doesn't have a knowledge of who you are. Uh, so, Lord God Almighty, I ask you for your deliverance for Stephen. I ask Amen. you for your grace for, of repentance for him. Father, Amen. Lord God Almighty, plant his feet in your vineyard. Plant his feet in Amen. your word. Plant his feet Amen. in you. Amen. And God Almighty, for his morning, give him gladness. For Amen. his pain, Lord, give him your pleasure. Amen. Let your joyfulness be his, his experience, Lord. Amen. Today we declare joy in his life. Today we declare Amen. your blessings on his lips. Today Amen. we declare your wisdom even in his mind. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Father, Amen. we are holding you to account because your word is enough foundation for any mm -hmm. man or any woman who lives in you to stand. Your words are words, O oh Lord God Almighty, that we can take to any part of this universe and it can yes. be cached. Yeah. Your word is not the word, O oh God, that is a mere one that drops on the floor At and all. does not bring forth. There is nothing you speak that does not bring life. Mm -hmm. It is that life, O oh Lord God Almighty, that has begun to be a reality within us. Amen. And so, Lord God Almighty, we present Sister Appa before you. Yes. <laughs> we declare this day standing upon your word because we know lord god almighty that your word is trust and trustworthy yes we know lord god almighty that the reality of the miraculous display a manifestation of the goodness of your word is that which happens even in this day yes because you've given us your word that whosoever we touch whosoever we pray for lord god almighty we begin to experience the miraculous reality of your healing power amen Father, if we know electricity is the power that is yours on this earth we know that there is a greater power that comes as a result of your word yes these are the realities that we are seeking for for sister upper yes that every part of sister upper are the lord god almighty every joint every corner every mm -hmm. bone every yes. muscle every yes. signer that yes. is causing our pain. We speak mm -hmm. forth your word into all of those bones and marrows. Amen. We say let the bones and the marrows and the joint of Sister Appa Vivian Adi receive the word of God and his healing. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, we desire it today because Amen. there is no tomorrow with you. There is no yesterday with you. There is only now and today. And so, Lord yes. God Almighty, we are holding you on account of who you are, of your yes, word. Lord. Yes. We want to experience the pleasure of you answering to the Amen. request that we are laying before you. Yes, there is no Lord. greater yes. pleasure than knowing the fact that God is with us. Yes. That God hears us. Yes. That God is pleased to give us that which we desire. Lord, yes. you are pleased to bring not just relief to the bones and the mm -hmm. joints and muscles of Sister Appa. Lord God Almighty, you yes. are pleased to bring forth complete healing. Amen. Father, because if it is your desire to give us your kingdom, how much more every other thing we ask of you. That's and so, right. Lord, with thanksgiving, we receive all of this. Amen. With our words, our testimonies now and tomorrow, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, we thank you. I believe us. Thank God. Thank God for, for attending uh, this session tonight. Say to the righteous, "You all are the apple of God's eye." In Jesus' mighty name, nobody dares to touch God's after God's eye. Nobody can touch you. No one, no one can touch you.
Mm -hmm. That's it, my fellow no, billionaire. I you. Mm -hmm. Steven. You are blessed. Everybody here, you are blessed. Report to Sam. Amen.